It's officially over. I said I wouldn't talk about it anymore, but a new little wrinkle in the fold happened. I got to talk about it at length with another person who was on the inside about the suit by Atlas due to the gross incompetence of one person. I have to summarize the situation, so go ahead and strap in because this stupid situation has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever chosen to talk about on this channel. And I've posted a lot of cringe before. The lore best could be seen by watching the previous video. Hopefully I put that in the card right now <laughs> because you get to see how often the people involved try to manipulate me because it makes them and their friends look good. It was like talking to a group of kids who stole cookies from a cookie jar and every kid chose to lie because telling some random virtually unknown YouTuber the truth is somehow more incorrigible than just trying to tell that loser what actually happened. Anyway, the situation began with the private servers for SMT Imagine. While many existed, the main players are Ari Imagine and Requiem, or requiem -u. <laughs> Requiem was essentially made by the rejects of Ari Imagine. Ari Imagine suffered its own wide variety of problems as well, but that's the extent of Ari Imagine's part of the lawsuit. It's just that Requiem is made from the people who left there, or not banned from there. Requiem people didn't like Ari Imagine people, so they made their own private server, using tools made by a third party that all the private servers use. The lawsuit started because Requiem decided to use assets from an old version of Atlas's Imagine website. You know, Atlas's intellectual property. Using the original domain was a very intelligent move by the server owner. They also put their logo on it and they claimed ownership of the website, the intellectual property that is the website's design. Keep in mind, Atlas was aware of private servers beforehand. Private servers for Imagine existed even when the game was officially running, but claiming to own Imagine and the design of the website by the company, smart. This put them on Atlas's radar. And at first the server owner received a cease and desist and they wisely chose to ignore it. So if you say you own the game and the game's web design and the company tells you not to do that and you ignore that, you get the bad ending. <laughs> the third party tools who are critical to the servers were kind of a secondary target because they were contributory, which is to say that without them, there wouldn't be any servers. And that would make for no reason for the server to steal Atlas's assets and claim that they own the intellectual property. Said simply, the private server tool makers were involved only because they made the tools. And this one particular stupid private server owner made a lot of critical errors in their logic and that's harming everyone else by proxy. I was also misinformed quite a bit in my previous video about the subject, which is kind of why I'm more venomous in that video, but I'm also not really nice in this video either. I got my information from someone who remained anonymous in the very first video and they were from the RE Imagine server. Another person who goes by Tall Geese, whom I now know is a somewhat manipulative as well in how they worded things and how they put their perspective out there because a lot of what they said ended up being not really important to the story. But another person who was completely impartial and well loved by everyone in the dev community of Imagine also worked as a bit of a whistleblower and they're kind of my final source for this content, this stuff about this dumb lawsuit. My final source contacted me once the suit was settled. A few of the nicer community members reached out because they felt bad that my perspective was so tainted by the people who fed me skewed information. I had sifted through tons of chats, lots of forum posts, tons of discord for my previous video and for this one as well, to be honest. I can say that my experience in Imagine was great. My experience in the private server community is pretty mixed and I didn't like Ari Imagine at all because the people who ran it were very, very rude and only started being nice to me once they learned that I might make a video about this whole debacle. 
kind of weird how that works out. Anyway, I think the thing most interesting is that Atlas really didn't have a fundamental understanding of how this private servers ran initially, which is the other factor for why the suit is so unusual. They didn't know how the servers worked and didn't know who even was involved, making it hard to even sue the people involved. Another important note is localization. The thing I talked about in the previous video isn't even accurate. It had almost nothing to do with the separation between Ari Imagine and Requiem. And the examples I was given and the person who was giving me the information, none of their stuff was ever implemented. So they just kind of fed me stuff because they're friends with the Requiem people. I guess, I don't really know. Maybe it's to get high off of manipulating a random stranger. I don't know the history of all the private servers, by the way, but I do know a better timeline for at least the important stuff. The first one was called Imagination, which is, <laughs> to be honest, a very good name. And it was supposed to focus on community-based changes for the server, but it became second banana because Ari Imagine jumped to release their game first, even though it didn't work, it wasn't stable, but they did that in order to be the first. And because Ari Imagine had the advantage of being first, it actually kind of killed Imagination and became king despite not being stable and not being remotely ready. Then the Russian server called New Order, which still exists by the way, was created. The original goal was to get it to work in Russian, and every single person I've spoken to actually speaks very highly of the people involved with the development and hosting of New Order. And lastly, there's Requiem, which was often called the server of misfit toys. You gotta do a lot wrong to be called that, to be honest. Requiem was almost entirely comprised of people who were banned from Ari Imagine. They'd find flaws and bugs and they use them against Ari Imagine maliciously, which is as deranged as it sounds. And it was after enough of these people were banned that Requiem became a server with a huge chip on its shoulder. Apparently it was literally a server run out of the owner's basement, which is really not an insult though. While New Order, Ari Imagine, and Imagination were fine, what to do with poor Requiem? Too crazy for Boys Town? Too much of a boy for Crazy Town. The server was an outcast. Requiem would publicly discuss raiding Ari Imagine, as deranged as that sounds. If they found problems with Ari Imagine, they would bandy about that information in a really weird and annoying, unhelpful way. All of this character assassination to say, Requiem were insufferable and they actively wanted to ruin the experience for everyone else and that carried on into the litigation and it is through their gross incompetence their pettiness and their stupidity that we lost Ari Imagine and we lost Requiem but they sucked so who cares their mortal enemy Ari Imagine was dragged down because they actively maliciously implicated them as well. Requiem also brought down Compaq, the people who provided everything needed to run these private servers, which as a result of the lawsuit, those people can't do anything involving Atlas, SMT, Imagine, nothing anymore. They're just, they can't. Legally, that's probably what they agreed to. They also got hit with huge legal fees. I imagine our Imagine people might have been screwed to some degree, but I don't know if they got the legal fees too. I feel like this video was me re-explaining things, but yeah. Requiem are the bad guys, just like they had done for the entire instance of their server being alive. I heard the compact peeps have a GoFundMe because they were hit with those huge fees. I don't know where it is. I don't know how to get in contact with them to get it, but I'm pretty sure someone in the community can like link it or something. That being said, that's it for this video. <laughs> Thanks to my channel members, No Alternative, Carmageddon, FF12Kid, and A Lie Remains A Lie. You can still play Imagine, by the way. You could do that either hosting your own server, which there are all the tools floating around the web, or you could play it using New Order, which is a great server that's still running. It's a really good community, and the Discord server has many guides, many helpful chats, and they have everything you need to make the game as painless as possible. 
There's not really a whole lot else I have to say about this. I just don't want to talk about this anymore. When I do my video about the history of Imagine, just know that I will not mention this at all. It's so dumb. This was dumb. Requiem sucks. Everyone who talked to me and tried to poison the well because of they were scared of looking bad to a bunch of people who would never think about them again after the video was released, shame on you. Also, more videos to come. I'm busy. I'm working on the wiki. So a lot of stuff has been slowed down for me. It's just really rough. But all that being said, thank you and goodbye, fellow megatennists.